In this video, we're going to be covering how to use the box model within Chrome Developer Tools. That is going to be this widget right here, which um, if you open Developer Tools, that's going to be at the bottom of this Styles pane. Um, so all the styles are up on the top, and then um, this widget will load below. Uh, before we get started, I'm going to briefly go over what the box model is. Every element on a web page is going to be structured as a rectangular box. And inside the box, you're going to have several different properties. Um, and this is going to apply whether it's a div tag, a paragraph, an image tag. Um, so what you basically have in here is your content. So the content itself is going to have its own width and height and take up its own space. Between the content and the border, you're going to have what's called padding. So padding is on the inside of the element. And then you're going to have the border. So the border can be a solid color. It can be um, a dotted line, kind of like this setup right here. And most of the, on probably on most elements, it's just not going to be visible, but it's still there. And between the border and the outside, what you're going to have is margin. So any other elements that are on the page, if there's margin that's set, um, this will create separation between one element and another. Okay, so returning to our uh, page right here, um, what we have is just uh, some photos of different mountains, mountain ranges. And inside here we have margin top and bottom. And then when there's a hyphen, there, there's just nothing there. And then if we were to come up here, that um, we see that we have some styles. So the image container, that is going to be the div that wraps the uh, image. And the image is going to be inside. So let's just go ahead and take these off. So it's going to eliminate the padding of the margin between the different elements. And we come down here, then it's all blank. So if we were to just go ahead and put this back in. So all we need to do is type in a number and it'll just go ahead and apply it. Keep in mind also that this is going to affect a single element. So in, in what I mean is that it's going to apply an inline style. And then if we were to zoom back up to the top, um, those two styles are going to be, those two inline styles are going to be listed here. And one other thing to highlight is that it's going, it's not going to use the um, shorthand. So what we had here was a padding of five pixels that applied it to all four sides. We also had margin um, that applied to the top and bottom. And then to the right and left, um, it was zero. If we were to apply it to all four sides, it's going to say margin top, margin bottom, margin left, margin right. So it's not uh, useful for if you just want to copy and paste the shorthand syntax. Um, inside the element itself, it's going to give us a uh, the dimensions. Um, so these are the computed properties. Um, actually, let's use the container. So the container is set to um, display as inline block. Um, so it's giving us a computer property of a width of 300 uh, pixels. So if we were to change this to block, for example. Now the container element is going to use all the available space um, from left to right um, inside the um, container, which is another div tag. This is using Bootstrap, so this is pretty standard for Bootstrap. And if we were to come back down, it's going to give us a our t entire width of the page is 1100 pix 1110 pixels. So that's what it's going to be giving us. And then one other thing to note, if we were just to change this to inline, and then this is going to be just auto. Um, so it's not going to give us a um, definitive width because the display is set to inline. And another thing to keep in mind, if we're using a re relative unit of measure, uh, let's just make this one rem and we'll make the 0 0.2 rem. Um, if we were to come down here on the image, so these are all, like I said, they're all computed properties, meaning it's so rem is based on the root font size. Um, so if we were to look at our CSS style sheet, uh, so I'm hit Command P. Actually, I have it in an HTML tag. Let's take a look at that. Come down here, we have 0 0.875 REM. So what that's going to do is it's going to be based on the Google Chrome's default browser settings. That's going to be 14 pixels. So if we were to come back to our elements tag, we have one REM of, so that's why these are both 14 pixels. 
and then 0 0.2, I guess that's 2.8 pixels. Uh, so that should be the same as if we come in here to the computed properties, um, in which if we scroll down, we can uh, see that the uh, margin bottom and margin top are both 14 pixels. And then the padding is actually comes out to 2.8 pixels for um, the padding. So when you're using relative units of measure, um, you wanna keep that in mind, um, that these are all just computer prop. Computer properties means what the, the specific size the browser is actually showing, not, the, not what you have listed in your CSS. And borders are gonna have sort of the same effect. So if I just put one item in here, and then um, come over here, it's going to put in a single uh, property. Uh, where, so you can't just say like a, a shorthand syntax would be border colon one pixel solid black. Um, so you would need separate CSS properties for border color, border style. And then, um, so it's not a very useful workflow for that if you're using shorthand syntax. Um, you're probably better off editing the file, but um, but it is a good visual display um, to make modifications and things like that. Thank you for watching.